Yo, what's going on guys? It's Xerxes coming at you name of the YouTube and today we have some amazing packs in store. Signature series packs, one signature player, 15 go to player players, and a mix of four other team items. If you're gonna buy packs, now is the time to do it. Unfortunately, I don't have any money. Otherwise, I would definitely, definitely buy these packs. $40 for one with a signature player. You could get a Richard Sherman, or you could get some trash like Le'Veon Bell. The bundle contains two signature packs, plus a bundle topic is four Ultimate Legend items. Now, the Ultimate Legends for this week are decent. Expect a pack opening in a couple hours. I just gotta do ten more Journey solos on my other account, and I'll have all the packs, and I will do a pack opening. Let's go take a look at the new 90, or 95 to 99 signatures. Let's see if they'll load, actually. Actually, let's take a look at the 90 to 94s real quick. If you're gonna buy a team, if you've been, you know, just keeping your team trash now it's time to do it. Reggie Bush is 32,000 coins this guy is still an amazing running back in this game with 93 speed which is decent enough 96 acceleration and 95 looseness and 99 juke move this card is really good for only 30k that is a absolute pickup let's take a look at the other ones Tom Bahali is a new one I see a Lamar Miller down there that just sold I'm really excited to see that card Tom Bahali 84 speed 95 excel 92 strength 97 Play Rec, 91 Block Shed, 95 Pursuit, 94 Hit Power. Let's take a look at that uh, power move. See if he's any good. 99 Power Move. Wow. So if you don't mind being a little slow, if you can handle that, definitely pick that guy up. We have a Jerome Felton fullback. And not really too excited for this. Let's compare it to his old card. He got 7 speed upgrade. That's pretty nice, though. This card's a really good run blocker. If you can do a really good run blocker and you don't mind spending 60k. Go ahead and pick up that guy. We have a Lamar Miller currently going for 80k. I wonder what his speed is. 96 speed with a 94 acceleration. 97 95 ball carry vision. 94 looseness. 81 trucking and a 90 juke move. I'm surprised they gave him the 81 trucking with a 77 catch. That card is amazing. Let's take a look down here. Taylor Mays 91 is down to 97k. Now the only thing is if you open those packs you could possibly get some straight up buns. But, you can also get some greatness. You could be the GOAT, or you could be just straight up ass. So, 95 Le'Veon Bell is not a new one, but he is going for 65k. Let's compare him to David Johnson. Obviously, going to be a little bit slower. More looseness, uh, less trucking, same juke. Very good card for 65,000 coins, guys. That is just ridiculous. Navarro Bowman, Cone Girl, for 80,000 coins. Navarro Bowman beats Ryan Chazier and everything, except for speed. That's why I have Ryan Chazier there. Because I just need a lot of speed. James Henderson currently going for an 80k. That is one of the highest overall. Russell linebackers, if one of those, if you're one of those overall type of guys, sort of like me, I guess. Uh, Calais Campbell, 96 overall. Good finesse move. Not as good as Muhammad Wilkerson, to be honest. Unless you're a 4-3, then maybe you want to pick up Calais Campbell. Chandler Jones, the man who just got traded to the Cardinals. They actually updated that. I'm surprised they updated that fast. 87 speed, 96 excel, 93 block shed, 98 power move. Very, very good card, to be honest. Compares very well to Bruce Smith. Let's keep going down. We see Emmanuel Sanders. 95 overall. Emmanuel Sanders had a very solid year, as well as he did last year. Let's compare him to someone he could probably compete very well with. Brandon Cooks, maybe. 96 speed, 97 catch, 95 looseness, 98 spectacular catch. 96 route running, 95 cut traffic, 96 jumping. That is a very good card. Can he run block at all? Nope. That's okay, though. He's a slot guy. We have a new TJ Lang, who I'll probably be picking up later today. 95 overall right guard compared to John Greco. Just one less pet run block. Everything else is better than Greco's by at least a little bit. A little bit faster. Better agility, better awareness, same strength. Better pass block. One better impact block. But he gives a plus two to run block on the field. So let's see what he compares to, to to John Greco. So he actually has a 98 run block. If you count the plus two. We have a new Jason Witten, my man. Hashtag Cowboys Nation. Jason Witten, you'll probably be retiring in a couple years. But that's okay. 86 speed with a 89 acceleration. You gotta, you know, see that coming with Witten. He's not the fastest. Decent run blocker. Should have better run blocking. Great catching stats. This man will not drop catches. I can almost guarantee that. We finally got a new Darren Sproles that is actually fast. 96 overall, 96 speed, 97 excel, 98 agility, 93 carry, 97 ball carry vision, 97 elusiveness, and a 98 juke move. Decently fast. 
What's his catching? 91 catching? You could put that guy in the slot and make him a receiver. On Gibson, comparing quickly to the Honey Badger. Doesn't really stack up that well, except for 9 zone coverage. And now we're going to get into the big boys. Starting off with a big boy. Marcel Darius, 97 overall defensive tackle, 99 block shed, and 78 speed, 97 strength, and a 95 power move. The highlights of that card. I do kind of want to, to get this to Angelo Hall. Gives a plus two to man coverage when he's on the field. 97 speed, 96 excel. Compare him to our two speed faster, less man, but a 99 zone coverage. If I was to get him, I'd probably get rid of. It's either Woodson or Ty Law, and I think I'd have to go with Ty Law. We'll have to see, though, if we're going to pick him up. I'm not really too sure. We have a new Eli Manning. He gets a plus two to catch one on the field. That's pretty funny. Let's compare him to Mariota. Obviously, not as fast. I think Winston is a better comparison. Not as fast. A little bit less short, a little bit less throw power. Better medium, better, better deep, better play action, and better awareness. Definitely not worth 500k, though. Willie Cologne, 512,000 coins. He is a free agent. Plus, to the impact block, he went on the field. Way better pass block. Better awareness, same strength, same speed, same agility, better acceleration. One less impact blocking. Taking quite a while to look at these guys. Let's just look at a couple of these guys. Clay Matthews isn't that really, isn't really that good. I looked at him earlier. We're going to look at Thomas Davis, 88 speed. 91 strength, 90 excel, 95 play rec, 99 pursuit, 97 hip power. What is that zone coverage? 76 catching. This card looks ridiculous. If you're a 4 3 outside linebacker, if you need one, get him. 94 zone coverage. Moving on to the man himself. Somebody just bought one for 610. Josh Norman. Holy shit. This man destroys Charles Woodson. Better zone, better press, better play rec, better catch, better agility. Better acceleration, same speed, minus one man coverage. That card is ridiculous. And on to the last two we're going to look at. AJ Green and Richard Sherman before we get into the Ultimate Legends for this week. AJ Green, comparing to Des Bryant. Stacks up decently. Well, actually, really, really good. Let's take a look at that run block. Run block is a 51. Okay, that might be a problem. Compared to Marius, stacks up really well too. I didn't realize he had 92 looseness, so this card will break a lot of tackles. And on to the card that apparently only one has been pulled. Richard Sherman currently for 5.7 million. Comparing to Charles Woodson. Same speed, same excel. Same agility, minus one man coverage. Plus 2-2 two -two zone coverage. Better plus, better play rec, and a 90 catching. Let's take a look at that block shed real quick. And also that hip power. He has a 63 block shedding and a 77 hip power. Card looks amazing. Now we're going to go take a look at the new Ultimate Legends. I may be picking up a couple of those new signature series, as well as maybe an Ultimate Legend or two today, because they're pretty damn cheap. Let's take a look here at the new ones. We have Atlanta Pace, only going for 330k or 40k. Comparing to Anthony Munoz, better strength. Munoz has him in. Better run block, better pass block. The only thing Pace has on him really is, I mean, I guess agility. And acceleration. This card is really not that good. I'm just gonna stick with Munoz. And who is the last one? Zach Thomas, 98 overall. Compare him to Ryan Chase here. Obviously, gonna be the same thing as Bowman. Better than everything else except for speed. Let's take a look at the boss cards that came out this week. Let's keep going down here. Currently going for a little bit over a million coins. 99 overall, Orlando Pace. Now he beats Munoz. I, I don't know if I ever if I pull this card today, I probably want to be too excited. Obviously, it's a million coin card, but I'm not going to be keeping that card. A little bit better than Munoz, and we're going to look at Zach Thomas currently going for 1.6 mil. I think he'll sell for about 1.2, 1.3 maybe. 90 speed, that's a little bit better with a 95 acceleration, 96 awareness, 100 tackle, 100 play rec, 96 block shed, 99 pursuit, 87 zone coverage, and a 97 hit power. This guy will stuff the run no matter what. If you guys enjoyed the video, make sure to like, subscribe, comment. Probably has some large quick stuff coming out later. Pack opening as well. And I'll see you guys next time.